Okay, yeah, everyone. I'm going to try this. <coughs> I'm going to put um, uh, forget me not in the middle, and then blueberry oops, next. Then a bit of white, and I'm having sand. This sand from uh, from resonate, sorry, around the outside. These are from Deco Rom, these uh, pigments. They're not inks, they are the pigments. I want to try it with pigments. Okay, so let's have a look. Because this has got shells in it as well as the stones. So, let me get. Let me see if this will work. I don't think I'll get many shells. I might get stones though. Well, obviously I'm going to get the stones, but not so much shells. I don't know if this will work. Dropping more than I am putting in. Judy, Judy Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out is the one that I saw using this mould and I liked the look of it. Mm, that might be alright. Might, might be a bit too... To break it. Ow! Ow! Don't do a Sandra and break it and prick your finger with it all. Monkey things. Another one. I don't mind if they go up a bit, a bit further, because for the simple fact, I mean that's what happens with the sea, isn't it? When the sea goes in and out. Side than there is the other side, isn't there? Never mind. The beach is not predictable. <laughs> everywhere still the one never the mind okay I think that would do I was going to go off the screen when I <laughs> a bit sharp
up against the stones. Oops, against the stone, Sandra, not on top of the mould. I'm hoping. Also, I'm going to put it in uh, here. So, yeah, I think that would do. Then I want the darker one. Actually, that's got to be the darker one, isn't it? <coughs> so the lighter one, go in between. I don't know what this is going to turn out like because I don't know how the pigments are going to react. is lighter right let's see what happens probably nothing it'll probably look a load of old pants because it's pigment and it's not eggs and pigments don't spread the same as an egg does so I'm gonna get my little pot And put some in there. I know I'm naughty, I've got no gloves on. There again. Right, I'm going to go from here, I think. Because then it should drop together. Yep, too much. I doubt it's too much because it's gone all over me at the ends, look. What an empty. Oh, too quick. I can always do. <coughs> Gonna let it do its thing and run. It's obviously not going to do what I was hoping it was going to do. Right, 
Let's fill some of these little bits up whilst we're waiting. The resin I'm using is the Tea Expert. It still needs a little bit more, doesn't it? Let's just get these off here. I won't be able to pick them off anyway because it's only thin layers. in there to do that <laughs> it takes its time to work its way round but it gets there eventually I was hoping it was going to do like nut resin does and it'll like go out and then come back in again and bring the white in with it but it's obviously not going to do that. sorting See, look, you've got like these little bits here that are still half empty that I should have on my hand. Let's see how that goes once it's finished and it's cured. Give it a quick one, two. Get rid of any bubbles and we will come back and see how it is tomorrow. Okay, that's 
See you later, everybody. Bye bye. Hiya, it's me. Ugh. That was that's just it, uh, the pigment that's still wet. This, in some cases, it's ugh. some parts it's still a bit tacky. Don't know why, but it is. I think maybe it's the inks itself. It's still very, very bendy. Um, I've started trying to take it off a little bit. I want to see. I put it that way. Maybe, maybe I could put it off a bit better. I'm just gonna see. Look, this is this is just pigments that are not dried and they're not mixed in. Right, lesson learned. The pigment has took over the stones. So what I should have done really was put clear around, probably clear around the outside first. These are still very, very um, sticky. Not sticky as such, because that is the ink. I think the ink's coming out on it. Change my uh, thing, I think, unless I can clean it off. I'm doing this very gently, very slowly. Because, as I said, it's not cured 100%. It's still very, very bendy. Oh, that one's very, very bendy. <laughs> That would come right up in the air. <laughs> Get out, you! And that one. Oh, yeah. Be very careful with these. They really should. I should have waited maybe a little bit longer. Because they're like very bendy, look. But it's coming off. It is coming off. <laughs> slowly but surely I mean they're still sticky still I think it's I do say it's the actual colors it's not it's not the resin the resin is actually quite solid not solid um but it's cured enough uh, as I said, I'm just going to take it off nice and easy. There you go. You see, it's the, it's definitely the um, pigments that are still wet. So I shall let them dry. But yeah, that's the back. That's the front. And basically, it's... You can put it into a dish and make it into a bowl but I'm going to leave it like that nice and flat and let it um, dry out properly because like this lot is, is that's dry um, look that's dry it's these uh, edge bits where they've where everything's gone out and it's got like everything's mixed in to these outer bits basically so that's the bit that needs to dry off so what I'm going to do, lift that up, and it's this side more than anything, give that a rub off, okay, that's it, and I'm going to just put this down um, back to the floor. So this is the right side, and I don't want the right side ruined in any shape or form. Because I don't, you know what I'm like. I do something, and it's like, oh dear, that's ruined. So yeah, what's that one? Pretty. I don't know if pigments lose their colour in light the same as what alcohols do. That's why I thought I'd try it with pigments and not alcohol. Because I know with alcohol, they lose their colour, um, especially if it's in sunlight. 
this I thought would be nice you know once it's dried properly and somebody's like fruit bowl or something on top of it or I don't know if it's in say in the kitchen if you've got something in the kitchen that you want to place on it or something you know I just thought it'd be nice I don't want to make it into a bowl because I've watched Julie from uh, pouring your heart out she's made these and she makes them into bowls she's made them into bowls and I don't want to completely copy her I have to a certain degree where she put the different colors in and then poured the um, resin in but she done it does it with inks so they blend a lot better than what these do but yeah I think that's uh, quite cute you know there's little bits here you can see all these little bits here look that just need to come off a little bit but other than that I'm happy with that thank you very much for watching please subscribe thumbs up leave me a, a comment and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I'm gonna upload a, a video because I'm not one of these that religiously upload every week or three or four times a week I do it when I fancy doing it <laughs> to put it bluntly <laughs> so you might miss one um, if you think you've missed any check out my actual channel and like my last video was making a parrot coaster and I loved it beautiful so just check out my, my channel and there's other other videos there you might not have seen all right well thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye bye